Hey, game makers. Are you bored of just hitting the enter key to talk to NPCs? Kinda wish you could make it a bit more interesting. Good. Meet the Hime Event Trigger Label plugin. What this does is make it so you can interact with your events in different ways than just clicking A to talk to them. Think triggering a card game with a separate key than your usual talk key, similarly to the Final Fantasy series, or having a merchant either talk to you or bring up a shop, all depending on what button you press. You can even assign multiple ones. Now, before I get into the how to use the plugin magic, I also want to point out that I'll be using the ZE Key Mapper plugin. This will allow me to have access to my entire keyboard instead of just a few default buttons. Key Mapper is pretty straightforward, but if you really need someone to go over it, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'd be more than happy to explain it a bit. Anyway, to the Hime plugin! The only parameter is show debug. Having this untrue just means that, while playtesting, if you pull up the debug window, it will tell you what buttons you pressed. As you can see here, I'm clicking a whole ton of buttons and it's telling me what they are. The keys that it tells you in the debug window are what you'll need to input. So if something's not working, open this up and check to make sure it's not assigned to something weird. Like how the Q and W keys are defaulted to page up and page down. You can read over the help file to get the gist of it. But all we really need from there is the button underscore trigger details. Now let's head over to our event and see how this all gets implemented. The first section of text is what will appear normally under no special conditions. Our little blonde friend here is just going to say some normal text. Next, we have a label. We can find these under flow control on the first page of the event commands. Now, this is an important note. This is not normally what labels are used for. Generally, they're used for jumping around your event when it's playing. Actually, in this case, they're acting more like conditional branches. But I digress, back to the event. Inside the label, we'll be typing button underscore trigger, and then the key we'll be using. For this example, we'll be using the E key on the keyboard because, well, because. <laughs> Be careful to make sure to use lowercase keys, as it appears to be case sensitive. With that entered, everything below this label will only activate if key E is pressed instead of our normal talk button. We'll be having our friend here ask us to play cards. Now, we're also going to add in another button trigger. Again, adding the button underscore trigger label, but this time we'll be using the key D. When we hit the D key to interact, we're going to make it show some animations and make it look like we're hitting him. Because, I don't know, maybe we're in some sort of ABS fighting game where we can whack villagers with a sword or something. And then it'll execute a battle, and that's all. So, normal interaction will show us text, E key pressed, which we can see right over there, will ask us to play cards, and D key pressed will initiate a battle, because we apparently like attacking helpless villagers for some reason. Keep in mind, you can use this in way more creative ways than what I've shown here. Like... pushing people! Playing a piano! Poorly! Picking up and placing cats! Puzzles with text-based codes! Having a shop button! Having a quest button, and many, many more creative things than that. If you are interested in following video updates or other RPG related babble, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you're interested in supporting the creation of these videos, I've started up a Patreon because you guys are awesome and I want to make these videos the best that I possibly can. And no, this will not become my recurring speech. Anyway, see you later, gamers!